welcome back to the greenhouse. We're still warm and cozy here at Carleton. Joining me now is Andrew McHale, candidate, master's candidate. That's right. Here at uh, Carleton University. So just a minute ago, I asked you to tell me what type of butterfly this is. Right, so this is a Morpho Pallades. It's commonly known as the Blue Morpho. Okay. And it's, it, a, it's a big blue tropical butterfly. Mm -hmm. And what's cool is that you're not only studying butterflies, doing research on them, but this is actually the specific butterfly that you're, you're studying? This is the specific butterfly that I'm studying, yeah. It's like he knew it was his <laughs> moment in the limelight and, uh, and came down here. Why did you choose to study this butterfly specifically? Um, well, the lab that I'm in studies um, vibration and acoustic communication in insects in general. Mm -hmm. um, my specific project focuses on butterflies. And within butterflies, there are a lot of species that don't have ears. There are species that have very simple ears, and there are species that have more developed, complex ears. Morphoplades is one of the species that has a complex ear, and so it's easier to study that ear compared to an ear that's simple or no ear. Mm -hmm. How <laughs> was it initially uh, determined that butterflies even have ears? How do you figure that out? No, so up to up till recently and up till now, actually, a lot of people don't actually know that um, butterflies do have ears. Uh, but our lab published almost all of the papers on um, butterfly hearing, mm -hmm. and um, we know that they respond to low frequency sounds. So that's how you figured it out? Yeah, so we actually, uh, the, the way we figured uh, how they hear is we attach little tiny electrodes onto their nerves, mm -hmm. the auditory nerves, the ones that they hear with, and uh, play different sounds and see how the nerve responds. Mm -hmm. So do butterflies that have ears, do they have an advantage over those that don't have any hearing? That's a good question. We don't really know what the function of ears are in butterflies. Um, for moths, which are closely related, related to butterflies, uh, we know that they listen to bats mm -hmm. at night. But, but most butterflies fly during the day, so they don't really have, they're not under pressure mm -hmm. from bats. So what we think the, uh, they use their hearing for is to listen to birds as they approach them. A lot of birds eat butterflies, right? Um, and it would be an advantage to a butterfly uh, to hear a bird approaching so that it has enough time to escape. Okay, right. So so ears maybe are to hear the predators coming and, and evade being eaten. Possibly, yeah. <laughs> okay, where does, because I mean, you said uh, eventually you'd like to, to be in medicine, you want to be a doctor. Right. Where did your interest for butterflies come from? So. Um, in my undergrad research, mm -hmm. I worked with locusts, and I worked on how locusts hear. So it seemed like a natural transition to work on butterflies for my master's degree. Mm -hmm. uh, but eventually, the techniques that I learned, the dissection techniques and the physiology techniques, are transferable to anything I'll do in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, how difficult is dissecting a butterfly, such a small insect? It is very difficult. Um, you think the butterfly is small, but the ear of the butterfly is even smaller. Um, so we use the smallest instruments in the world. We have the smallest scissors, the smallest forceps, and we do everything under the microscope. So it's very, very tiny surgeries. So that's nice because that steady hand will then translate into accurate exactly. uh, operations for when you are an actual Hopefully. medical doctor. If I can operate on a butterfly, I can operate on a human. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, that's, uh, that's really interesting. Thanks a lot for chatting with Thank us you today. Very much. And uh, good luck with, uh, with the research and uh, your Thank master's you. candidacy. <laughs> a reminder that the annual butterfly show will be running until holiday Monday. Uh, there is no admission fee, so bring the family down and uh, come take a look. 40 different species of butterflies and a lot to learn.